Uh, hi, I'm a student from Hungary, and I have two lightning talks for you today. In this first one, I would like to show you the outcome of a Google Summer of Code project that I completed last summer at the Clunk Static Analyzer team, uh, which was writing a static analysis checker for dangling string pointers in C++. And I just uh, like to send my special thanks to my mentors, Artyom Dergachev and Gabor Horvat. So, to start with a small example to illustrate the problem that I was looking for in code, um, let me just be a bit interactive. Uh, could you please raise your hands if you've seen code like this? And have you written code like this? Actually, it's pretty easy to get wrong. Now, the problem here is that uh, std to string returns a string by value. So here we are returning a pointer that points to the inner buffer of a temporary string. And uh, as I said, it's pretty easy to get wrong as the checker found uh, code like this in quite popular open source projects. The name of the checker is inner pointer and it's in a C++ package. And just to give a quick overview of the main logic, it is quite kind of an API matching uh, checker. Uh, first, it looks for code that obtains a row pointer to the buffer of the string. Then it looks for some operation that potentially re or deallocates the buffer, thus invalidating the row pointer. And then if after this we see a use of that row pointer, then we give a warning. Now, the checker was evaluated on a couple of open source projects and their dependencies, including LibreOffice and LLVM. And it found three true positives, which were reported and fixed within a day, which was great. And the other good thing is that on these projects, uh, it found no false positives at all. But uh, if I, uh, please go try it out and uh, send, us, send me your feedback. So our future plans include uh, adding support for other STL or custom non-STL containers, because for now it works for std strings. And um, more interestingly, uh, adding support for string views, which are kind of like row pointers, but they are quite uh, difficult for the analyzer to understand their internals. So we'll have to kind of teach the analyzer to understand string views for this. Uh, you can use the check. If you just uh, analyze your project with scan build, uh, you don't have to do anything else because the checker is enabled by default. And also if you analyze one file with clang dash dash analyze, you also don't have to do anything else because it's enabled by default. Uh, thanks. And if you'd like to find out more about this, uh, the link to my final report is on the slide. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>